How do I know it's side hustle day? Nobody else is here. What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur, showing you the day in the life of a budding entrepreneur, just the basic hustle and grind of what it takes to build your business from nothing. And it is 7 a.m. Saturday morning because of wonderful things called time zone differences. It's gonna be 10.30 for my client, 7.30 a.m. for me when I get to meet him. I feel like I'm probably getting the short end of the stick here. So I'm gonna go grab some decaf coffee and play with Excel to wake up so that when we start talking, I'm not a zombie kind of like I am right now. And then it will be back to some fun Excel stuff and I have some great business updates to share with you guys as well. Stay tuned. <sighs> much, much better. Can't wait to show you guys this Excel sheet I'm working on. It's probably about 12 hours in putting together this new model for putting together AdWords account specifically keyword research and grouping and I would say it's pretty freaking sweet of course I'm biased because I built it but I think it's pretty cool anyway I'm out of time now so got to hop on the phone and drop some biz marketing advice the good news is you know that he can definitely deliver the kind of site and the quality of site that you want so really it's just gonna be price and because it's on WordPress you can be confident that even if it's a complicated theme, you are going to be able to change the menus. You are going to be able to go in and change images when you want. You know, something that I've been really struggling with as a entrepreneur and freelancer is focus. And it's just so easy to get caught up in all of the things you can do and forget that at the end of the day, you know, just being, being a marketer or being a e-commerce business it isn't specific enough you know what kind of marketer are you uh, you know do you drive in marketing it's are you traffic or are you conversion and then within that there are a bunch of different things e-commerce what kind of e-commerce store are you right are you targeting males are you targeting females or is your SKUs based on products we're just a watch company or we're just a ring company or you know we're uh... I'm totally blanking on what this is called <laughs> are we a water bottle company right and so making those distinctions and specialization is something where I constantly find that I'm still too broad in what I do and I believe that's a large reason why I am so tired all the time and I think you guys are probably getting you know sick of it like Jason all you do is talk about how tired and exhausted you are like oh poor little you why don't you go do something about it well today Today I'm doing something about it. Uh, I'm realizing that I've been too broad. So I've been trying to, as a marketer, I've been trying to be traffic and conversion. And you know what? Uh, looking at my skill set, looking at where I've gotten the best results, and looking at something called the uh, Colby test, you can go to Col just type in search Colby uh, skills test, and looking at what, uh, what am I wired to do best? And I think that's one of the things we can all really learn from is just take a step back. And I, I, I spent like two hours yesterday going through my current skill set, what I'd accomplished over the year and saying, okay, where did I succeed? Where did I fail? Well, I succeeded with running AdWords campaigns. I succeeded with driving traffic. I didn't succeed with converting people. Uh, for those of you following my Building a Business from Scratch series, one of the things that grueling things I'm gonna to have to do is wind that down and as much as I want to if let me say this if I wasn't recording doing it live I would just stop it and but I don't think it would be fair to everyone who's invested so much time into watching that series for me to just say you know what I give up because I need to focus on XYZ and right now it's looking like XYZ is going to be running ads for people so instead of setting up a info product uh, sales funnel and making that the focus of my side hustle days. Instead, the focus of my side hustle days is gonna become, be focusing on getting better at driving traffic, targeting, the getting the right offers in front of the right people. And then it will be my client's responsibility to close them. Because obviously, with my current tool set, my current skills, closing people is clearly <laughs> 
not <laughs> not in my cards. Getting people to your landing pages, getting people to your website, uh, getting you the right people to talk to, that I seem to be very good at. So anything that isn't in the Jason's realm of AdWords, Facebook advertising, or you know Instagram, Pinterest, uh, what's the other one? Uh, anyway, Instagram, Pinterest, that I just need to, I need to let go. So I'll be doing, I'll be finishing off my building an online business from scratch series. And essentially the conclusion I've come to is I'm just going to go, th I'm going to complete all of the traffic that I have run because I've run almost a thousand dollars in ads, right? And gotten like three people to sign up for the webinar. <laughs> so that's a, that's a huge messaging issue. Right, especially because I tested the audiences and I'll get into that in that series and I know I'm targeting the right people. So I know I'm talking to the right people, but I'm obviously saying the wrong things to those people and that's where there's a huge disconnect. And so to get to the point where they both connect with each other and people actually come to the landing page and the people who do come to the landing page say, hey, I actually want to see this webinar, that's gonna take a lot longer than I thought, just a lot longer. and. I don't really have the the time or patience for that. And so looking at what I've got, I'm going to I'm going to focus on getting clients for driving traffic and I think that's I think that's what I got to do. So, took a quick break from Excel just stretching out and realized I am the only one. So it's like lunchtime on a Saturday and this is how you know uh this is how you know it's side hustle day because nobody else is here. This is how you get ahead. This is how that consistent effort and consistent hard work pay off because we are working on a day that everybody else isn't. And so when you feel like you can't catch up or someone's too far ahead, just remember that every Saturday and Sunday, offices across the world look like this. And this is our opportunity to get ahead and surpass because we have seven days a week, they only have five. All done. I actually built the dang thing. Uh, just to let you know what, give you a little insight on what I was working on here, essentially putting together an Excel sheet so that I can drop in my keyword lists and write my text ads and then everything will auto-populate from there. So the Excel sheet will get all the match types. It'll automatically apply, uh, apply my tiered bidding strategies per keyword, per keyword group or per ad group. And then also automatically take the ads at the campaign level and apply them to all the ad groups. And then also it allows me to create ads right then and there per ad group. So my ad groups are tightly clustered to five or six keywords. When this will allow me to not only have six ads per ad group for the entire campaign, I'll be also be able to create four individualized ads for each ad group, which means if I was going crazy, I could launch a campaign with 10 ads with the same effort of launching it with writing two ads, essentially, because of the way it uh, takes the ad copy and mixes it around and uh, does in keyword insertion and all that fun stuff. But I'll definitely have tutorials way down the road on what the heck that all meant. So I'm pretty pumped that it's done and uh, I'm excited to apply it to the next client and see how much time I save. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. So I'm pretty much brain dead and it's time to go home, take a quick break and then get back to it. All right, just finished the workout. Uh, my arms and legs are definitely dead. However, this guy is well rested, mentally clear, all of those endorphins and adrenaline is kicking in, so I feel wide awake once again, even though my body is pretty dead. So time to chug some protein, shake, and then back to writing. Five down, four, two. You ever work on something and feel like time just goes super slow? I feel like I'm writing a college paper right now. Got two to go. It's only been 30 minutes. It's, it took me, it's taking, averaging 15 minutes, but I swear, guys, these 15 minutes uh, are, are feeling like two hours long. Like, I looked at the clock and I went, wow, it's only 9.30. And the last time I looked at it, it was 9 o'clock, but it 
feels like 11 just because this is taking so long. But I'm going to start, stop distracting myself by pretending to be productive by vlogging and uh, two more to go. Just two more to go. All done. Nine video descriptions completely finished, 250 words or more, and the rest of the Building an Online Business from Scratch series is complete and outlined, and it will conclude with episode 40, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, 40 episodes of that series, and it's actually going to end with, I'll give you a little preview, talking about the Yellow Brick Road is what I used to kick off the series, and so I think I have a pretty clever way of ending it talking about the Yellow Brick Road and not pretending like the Yellow Brick Road's over, but just giving it giving it some milestones and saying, you know, this is this is just, you know, step X of what the Yellow Brick Road of entrepreneurship is. And I actually just kind of came up with that um, off the top of my head while I was recording. And so I'm running with it until I get something better or until, uh, you know, a bunch of people say, oh, that's really stupid. Well, actually, I don't. I don't really care because Yellow Brick Road is, that's what this is. It's a really, really long road. And speaking of long roads, it's been a long day. It's about 10 o'clock right now, so it's time for me to wind down and actually get some sleep, go to bed early because it's Saturday. What else would you do on Saturday other than, what are you going to do, stay up late? That's silly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, I know most of you guys have fun on Saturday, but anyway, this is my version of fun. So, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little longer than usual. I wanted to get a little more content in there and give you a little more context of what the day actually looks like and how long the day actually is. And it really is just me sitting on, typing away on this computer all freaking day long. So, until next week, keep building the business you love. Take care.